got some data here within the spreadsheet and we're going to create a pivot table that's going to output the counts for the number of occurrences of a given name. So we've got Alice, Bob, and Eve. So each one of them have three occurrences and we're going to total those up using a pivot table. So under the extensions app script, select that and that's opening up the editor. And then this is the editor that we've got opened up. And here we're going to create a function. So create a pivot table can create uh, and set this function name to whatever makes sense for you. And first off, we need to select our spreadsheet. So using the spreadsheet app service, we're going to get that active spreadsheet and then use the active spreadsheet to select a specific sheet. The sheet that we're selecting, we're using the get sheet by name and the name of the sheet is going to be sheet three. And that's the one that we've got our data. So the name of the sheet is just down here at the bottom. And of course you can change those corresponding to whatever your sheet name is. We want to create a new sheet and this is going to be our pivot sheet. So we take the spreadsheet object and we insert a new sheet. So inserting a sheet object and this is where our pivot table will go. So this will be automatically named or you can give it a name. So depending on how you want to create and construct your application. And so the actual pivot table object is going to be created within the new sheet, the P sheet. And then we want to get the range. So this is going to be where it's going to be positioned. So we'll start it up at A1. So it's right up at the top left hand corner. And then there we can create a pivot table within that function and using the sheet and then get the data range. So it's going to select all of the data that's available within the sheet. And the sheet was the one that we're getting by name of three. And it's going to select all of the available data that we've got sitting in there. You can also be more specific with what range of data that you want to use within the spreadsheet. In this case, we're just grabbing all of the available data within the sheet. And you can also set this up as a separate value there as a uh, range to make it a little bit more readable. So this is where if you needed to make updates to the range, it's a lot easier to do that as you've got it set as a variable. So you have to change the additional code. And then here, what we want to do is we construct the pivot table. We want to add a row group. So we want a couple rows there and the number is going to be representing the column A, column B. So two is column B. So we're adding a row group into the pivot table. And then we've got the pivot table object. And here we can add a pivot value. So this is going to be adding in the values that we've got from the first spreadsheet. So this is representing the column two. And this is where we use the spreadsheet app and the pivot table summarize function. And this is going to summarize the data that we've got within the sheet. And then there's a number of options there that we can select what we want to summarize the data. And so in this case, what we're going to be doing is just doing a quick count of the occurrences within the sheet. And then when we run the create pivot, it creates a brand new sheet. So in this case, it's called sheet 15. And then it does a quick count and total. So let's say we had some more occurrences for Alice and we save that. We run the code again. It's going to create a new pivot table 16. And this time Alice is going to have six, Bob is two and Eve is one. And it's also providing the grand total because we're using the count of name. So it's recurring within the name of the sheet. So this is the column B it's using the name as the heading and then selecting the data that's just below within that same column.